I came 7,000 kilometers to see all of you here in Korea. I would like to briefly explain about Saudi Arabia that you might not be very much familiar with. I would like to attract all of your attention to Saudi Arabia. When I was a child, I chose Saudi Arabia because I felt many things and experienced many things in Saudi Arabia, and I would like to share with you what I experienced in this country. I am going to make a presentation about the introduction of Saudi government policy and marketing strategy to help uh, Korean companies to help enter Saudi maritime business. Made in Saudi Arabia program is one of the main government initiatives, and it also includes infrastructure projects, tourism and entertainment projects as well as shell gas and petroleum and chemical industry projects, as well as uh, programs for establishing the basis for manufacturing industry, including shipbuilding and offshore businesses. You might know very well about this project, New Future of Saudi Arabia. This is a project that aims to establish a new future city. Under this project, Trojana will be established, centered around tourism and sports, and Oxagon, which will be the industrial complex on the ocean, and the Line and the Mirror Line project. Now, infrastructure is being built, and it'll take around five years for preparing the basis, the groundwork for this project. Let me briefly explain about oil, gas, and petrochemical before Saudi Arabia sold uh, oils. And Saudi Arabia is now aiming to proceed with a more value-added programs. So they are building petroleum plants, and they're building petrochemical plants. The representative project is crude oil to chemical project, which is called COTC construction project. Feed engineering is going on under this project, and next year, the official uh, order placement will be made. And shell gas is being developed in Saudi Arabia. The representative project is Jafura project. The Korean president visited uh, Jaf Jafura project, which is being conducted by Hyundai Construction. Uh, Hyundai received the order for this project, which amounts to about 2.4 billion Korean won. Um, not, not Korean won, but dollars. And Jafura project gives us an endless potential and opportunities of business in Saudi Arabia. Next is Saudi's localization policy. The ultimate goal of Saudi localization is to enable self-sufficiency, integration, and innovation. Ikiba is the most representative policy. It is a total value-added program. It began in 2015, and in 2024, 100% uh, application will be achieved. The goal of this project is to enhance, increase the local content in the oil and gas sector, and to enhance the local capacity in the areas of engineering, manufacturing, logistics, and operational service sectors, and also to enhance the competitiveness in the local uh, business industries. And also, they're aiming to create new jobs for the Saudi citizens. They're trying to increase the self-sufficiency up to 70% in the oil and gas sector by 2030. And for EPC bidding, the Activa score is being reflected. Next is Made in Saudi Arabia program. This is a program that aims to attract foreign direct investment to develop and grow Saudi Arabian industries. On the right side, you see a graph. It shows the population of Saudi Arabia, which is increasing 
which is increasing by five um, five hundred thousand to one million people. And there are around 10 million foreigners in Saudi Arabia, about 225 million uh, native Saudi Arabians are living in this country. In order to benefit from this Made in Saudi Arabia program, you have to ensure that the local contents take up at least 40% or more, and the foreign company must be a company registered in the Saudi Arabian, the SAGIA, and such companies that meet the conditions and requirements for MIS program will benefit from the program. And Saudi Arabia is recommending the, the companies to buy the various services and products from local Saudi Arabian market. And under this project, there are many academic or research institutions in Saudi Arabia which will be uh, working with the foreign companies under this program. Also, there is uh, import export financial support under this program. When we hire Saudi Arabian residents as employees or when we provide them with trainings, we can receive financial support, financial expense support from the Saudi Arabian government. Next is five special economic zones in Saudi Arabia. MBS announced this policy to create jobs by attracting foreign investment. There are five special economic zones ranging from cars, ICT, logistics, pharmaceuticals, and consumable goods. Also, there are Ras Al Khaya special economic zone, which refers to shipbuilding and offshore industries and rig assembly production. There are also Zazan special economic zone, cloud computing special economic zone, and special integrated logistics zone. When you establish a company in this special economic zone, you can receive corporate tax credit uh, by from 0.5% for 20 to 50 years. You can be also exempted from import tariff and value added tax within the zone. You, your withholding tax will be also exempted. Usually private companies should hire a certain proportion of Saudi Arabian citizens as their employees. And if you operate your business in the special economic zones, the obligation to hire a certain proportion of Saudi Arabian employees and uh, the foreign employees, the re regulation related to this could be softened. And next is the current status of shipbuilding and offshore industries in Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia, shipbuilding industry has not yet fully developed, but there are Al Bari, which is a nation owned carrier in Saudi Arabia. There are also Marine Division in Aramco and IMI Shipyard. And in Al Bari, Al Bari has about 92 vessels. They're operating oil tankers mainly. Aramco owns 260 OSVs. By 2030, it is planning to increase OSV by 50%. In IMI shipyards, they're trying to fully construct um, the shipyards by 2030. And as a small and medium-sized shipyard, we have Jarim Shipyard, Damman, and Jetta Shipyard. They're in charge of uh, ship, small and medium-sized shipbuilding and repair. In Saudi Arabia, shipbuilding and offshore industries are not yet fully uh, developed, so that poses a lot of opportunities to Korean companies. 
Next is the special economic zone in Ras Al Karia. As introduced by the previous speaker, there are the sites for IMI shipyards. The area, total area is around 40 million square meter. We have secured 4 million square meter site which could be allocated to Korean companies through the joint efforts between Komiya and uh, the Korean companies. Our role is to hold this site for Korean companies and when you sign contract, you will sign contract with a direct uh, contract party, not us. Around this IMI shipyard area, there is a construction going on to establish a steel mill invested by China, India, and Saudi, Aram Saudi Arabian companies. So steel making factories are currently being established around the shipyard. As you might know very well about IMI shipyard, Now, the 95% of the shipyards is uh, completed. And the first assembly will be completed by 2025, there are not many cast or force of plant production. So engine bodies, a large products cast and force forcing will be done here. That is why Aramco and Hyundai Heavy Industries are building a plant. And EPC will be responsible for Doosan Heavy Industries, and it has 15% of a stake. You may think, who wants to invest in Saudi Arabia? I actually been, I've actually been there in person, and I was able to see many people, many foreign people were investing in Saudi Arabia, including the Europe, Europeans and Americans, and there are even Chinese people. So there are many unknown aspects of Saudi Arabia. So I hope you take an opportunity to pay attention to Saudi Arabia to explore uh, business opportunities there. And there are many business opportunities in oil and gas. And this is something similar to providing City Gas and EIZ, an American company, is making an investment in this project. It invested $1.2 uh, billion. And BOT and BOO investments have been active. And most of the uh, investors here are Japanese companies. And they are making profits more than Korean companies are making more than the profits Korean people, uh, companies are making by providing uh, construction there. And foreign investment has been concentrated in mining. And mining is an emerging industry in Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia, there is much water, as much water as water, copper, aluminum, and nickel, all these minerals are also rich in Saudi Arabia. That is why many European companies are interested in Saudi Arabia in terms of investment. This is a list of Korean companies doing business in Saudi Arabia. As you can see, there are many Korean companies in the fields of construction, manufacturing, service, and IT. And it is very noteworthy that Korean SMEs small and medium-sized companies are actively entering the Saudi Arabia market. They are uh, providing construction services as well. Uh, 
Let's uh, think about what uh, investment condition that Saudi Arabia offers. Saudi Arabia is a young country. 75 or less of the population is under the age of 35. And Saudi Arabia families there, they are big families. On average, they have six to seven children. And it is a leading country in the Middle East and Africa. And it is a religious leader in the Arab world. And it is a geographical, a geopolitical center of the gravity in the Middle East. And it is also important to note that the Saudi Arabian government is very active in providing support for foreign companies. I created this slide at the request of the organizer. And you may think when you are encouraged to make an investment in Saudi Arabia, you may think you might need a sponsor, local sponsor. But the simplest way to make an investment in Saudi Arabia is to create a local incorporation. You can start even with 10 million Korean won or two million, 20 million Korean won. Of course, there will be more expenses required later on. But still, it, once you create a local incorporation, you can have 100% stake of it. And you also have to expect one month to get a permit for creation of a local incorporation. It takes time to register your company name because the Saudi Arabian authorities wants to verify whether your company name is in violation of their uh, religious law. This is a market strategy. But, but this is what I want you to be careful about when you decided to when you decide to enter the Saudi area market. Korea is a widely connected country. So internet access is very easy, but that's not the case in Saudi Arabia. So when you have your Saudi Arabian counterpart, or the local counterpart or business partner there, you can always use referral system. You have to I find a back, you have to do background check over your local partner. And meeting the deadline is also another important thing you have to consider. When you provide products and services in the Middle East, getting a pre-approval is a prerequisite. It's a must. So you have to be aware that this is a must. So take all the necessary steps and procedures. There is a lot of fees in the Middle East. Buyers as well as sellers, they both of them have to pay a fee. When you try to buy something from the local people, they may ask you, do you know this person and that person? And that means you have to pay a fee for these people. If you don't have any friends or acquaintances in the Middle East or Saudi Arabia, try to build a connection. And don't be fooled by a fame or don't be fooled by people who claim that they know important people or they know authorities. So you should be very careful when you make an agreement. In terms of custom clear clearance, our target time is one hour. So you have to be very careful to have a very generous and long enough lead time. 
When I first went to Saudi Arabia, I thought I had a good business opportunity. I think you, if you decided to go there, you would have the same version. But you have to understand there are different cultures that exist in Saudi Arabia. So you have to be very careful of not being offensive to their culture. In Korea, it's very difficult for a person like me to meet the minister. But it's not the case in Saudi Arabia. You can easily get a chance to meet the minister or authorities in Saudi Arabia. So always ask for a meeting with the highest possible ranking uh, people in the highest possible ranking. The best way, the best thing you have, uh, and you have to also be careful of not having a sole agent or an exclusive agent. And there are also considerations you have to make when you sign an agreement. When you sign an agreement, please bring at least two witnesses. Because later, some of the, the people who signed the agreement may lie, and they retract what they said. And here, and I want to I want to make this point that Muslims they pray five times a day. You may perceive that they are very faithful because they say they are loyal to God and they can't lie. But if you are really honest, you won't say something like that. So this is one of the most important reminders to you. If a local person says, I'm Muslim, I'm not going to lie to anyone, don't be fooled by it. I think it's a high time for Korean companies to consider building the second generation of factories there because of the increased regulations and unwillingness to work in production among the younger generation. Because Korea's labor market conditions are getting worse. And Korea lacks workforce. And the working age people, the number of working age people is decreasing. And young people, they are not willing to work in the manufacturing sector. So personally, I think the Korean economy is at risk. But Saudi Arabia is a young country. It offers abundant and affordable labor. And consider made in Saudi policy. It provides active support. It gives you tax benefits. It gives you young workforce. So take the most out of it. In Middle East and Africa, they have the highest growth potential. Yes, it is a tragic that there is a war in the Middle East now. But on the flip side of it, it can present a business opportunity later. So Saudi Arabia can be a very good tour, uh, investment destination for you. If Korea's technology combined with Saudi Arabia's government funding and raw materials, you can create a synergy effect. So I look forward to your active participation in the business opportunities. And this is, these are the procedures you have to take to do business, to start business in Saudi Arabia. First, you need a board resolution. 
And you also need to oh, you also need to have English translation of articles with cooperation and power of attorney. And lastly, I'd like to say, based on my experience that I had in Saudi Arabia, Korea will be the best partner for the local people, whether it be partnership, brands, or corporations. Korea will be the best partner for Saudi Arabia. Just be bold. Take this opportunity. Take a risk. I personally think compared to 20 to 30 years ago, Korean SMEs made significant progress. So take fully advantage of your track records. So be bold. Take a risk. If you make your, your mind, you can always contact me. I've been working in Saudi Arabia over the past 20 years, so you can always contact me. I will always be happy to help you. So thank you for having me today. Thank you so much.